Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has succeeded in having his name removed in two key swing states. Under existing rules, ballots will have to be reprinted before they can be distributed, leaving millions of already filled in absentee ballots in limbo. Former Supreme Court Justice Bob Orr says he disagrees with the Court of Appeals ruling, saying such a big change came too late in the game. I think what Kennedy and company don't see or don't care about is is the cost and, and, and disruption. A disruption, he says, would hurt the military members, students, and others who rely on absentee ballots. And the cost for all 100 counties to reprint those ballots without RFK Jr.'s name, which could cost around a million dollars. It is pretty callous in expecting the taxpayers of this state to pay for that last second decision and to put this additional burden on election workers and delay the opportunity for people to get their absentee ballots. There's also the politics at play. Now that Kennedy has endorsed Trump and ended his campaign, he's specifically making a push in swing states like North Carolina to take his name off, to not be a spoiler in a close race. In states where it really doesn't matter, he's fine with staying on the ballot. But in states where he could potentially now do harm to Trump's chances, you know, now that he has made basically a detente with Donald Trump, you know, that that's where he's trying to to excise himself to remove that potential impact. Ironically, it was Democrats who initially fought to keep RFK Jr. off the ballot. Now it's Republicans in the Trump campaign who believe the state should honor his wishes. They should allow RFK Jr. to be on the ballot if he wants or to remove himself from the ballot if he wants, as long as he's doing it within the legal bounds, which he is trying to do.